Hi guys, welcome to the Seven Man Show with me, your host Sean. If you find any of today's entertainment helpful, don't forget to smash that lovely like button. If you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell notification. And let's get on with the show. We'll be going over some of the stocks we dealt with recently and we'll be speaking about a few new tips well the first one is going to be a tip marathon petroleum corporation ticket symbol mpc that's because they agreed before the covid19 to sell the speedway stores to uh 7-eleven for 22 billion dollars now that the uh Lockdowns over with. I think that'll be back on again, and you can see that it's also a discount. Now we have SPCE Virgin Galactic Holdings. Now, uh, when it was fourteen dollars a share, I recommended it, and I got criticised when they launch failed but said to them spacex launches tomorrow and it'll bring all the space stocks up and it did and it's come up today to 17 dollars now sorry if i'm going a bit quick but trying to get through these as quick as possible nike i said at 85 dollars 82 to 85 dollars a share 82 i said if it breaks the 85 resistance mark it can go to 100 dollars a share and you see it's at 98 70. if it breaks 100 dollars it could even go higher but let's hope we have cgc who are recommended at 14 dollars a share see how that's doing 20. now if it, if it hits 21 and stays at between 21 and 25 i think it could go far because they have their earnings soon and remember what happened with uh, ACB right now we have I think I won't go into ultra because they've mucked up that ETF let's just say if you went in at two dollars when I said you would have made a lot of money because of the reverse split and then the price increase, but now they've refused to let them uh, bother dealing with futures. Now, I've been banging the drum of Neo and got some stick over it. However, especially when it went from $3 to $2 a share. But the reason for the rise is Tesla has gone down in sales by 64%. And what car are they driving? It's the Neo in China. And I was going to come on and say, if it breaks $3.80, it could go to $4, even $5. And you're seeing it's already broken $4. Now, GDX and GLD, I recommended I recommend GDX when it's 25. Uh, it's an ETF for gold miners. And I just thought, it's cheaper than buying one gold mining stock and it has all of them in there and it's gone up quite a bit and it's come down a bit today so if it comes below 30 i might pick up some more anyway because i think there's still room to go now i also said ea now the the thing is with EA, I think as a company we should all go into. I got some stick about Moderna when I said it was going below fifty dollars a share. It hit below fifty dollars a share today and went down to forty seven. I went in at forty nine and uh it's hanging around the 51 mark. The f fact is, I think the president's going to go with this no matter what happens. I went in with a small position. 
However, the way I see it is my biggest healthcare positions are Merck and GlaxoSmithKline purely because their value without COVID-19 is, is a better value than any other company, healthcare company. And then the other one is Gilead that I, that I said to people I'm going into because it had a $76 value without COVID-19 cure. And lo and behold, when everyone's saying no, it's too highly priced, uh, SunTrust analysts upgrades it from sell to hold. And they come out with some information saying that governments will stockpile 500,000 doses each once they make it commercially available. And that Remdesivir will sell it for $10,000 a treatment after they've given out the free doses. The reason for this is a hospital stay for will be $10,000 a day. And this will cut the stay by three to four days. So it will be worth them buying. Now, just and for the moment, just so you know, I'm not copying someone like Jeremy on Financial Freedom, who I respect, I think is great, or someone else. I am saying stay away from Callaway Golf because Callaway Golf will be... Uh, you won't have many people. Uh, you won't have many people golfing right now, because a majority of golf golfers are going to be middle-aged to old-aged people who are smoking big cigars as a status symbol. You know, and they, even the younger ones who are coming into the game, they wouldn't be shopping at Callaway Golf anyway. They would be shopping online retailers or going somewhere cheaper to buy. So I know that Jeremy has recommended it in the past. I wouldn't. Now, I would also say SPR, SAVE, APA and CHK I'd stay away from. But it's completely up to you what companies you go into. Ah, on with the show. I found it funny that today that Jim Cramer's COVID-19 stocks, the ones he's replaced dead dogs with, uh, he replaced them with, right, seven out of the first eight were ones I recommended weeks ago, such as Data Dog. And and <clears throat> Splunk, this ticker symbol SPLK, and I hope he's got in there. And uh, Twilio, I've mentioned that a couple of times including the uh, earnings, Etsy, which went down today, but then all of a sudden it started climbing. So, and broken a couple of resistance barriers. So, you know, you have to realise that it has doubled its storefronts. And someone said in the conversation room that, I think it was short sellers trying to bring the price down so they could scoop up loads of shares. Now, you have Wix.com. Again, that's another one. And then uh, Target. If you remember, I said that I think they would do well. And one I didn't say was Chegg. I don't remember saying Chegg. Anyway. Uh... Let's hope they all do well, because if they do, I do well. Usually what happens is he recommends a stock. He has a huge reach with his show, obviously. And loads of people 
go into it without doing the proper research and that will drive the stock price up but we'll see anyway Valmont Industries is my next one because any infrastructure that goes into a company uh, does well for them it usually props them up by 14 point 14 dollars a share you know they're the ones who do the street lamps and things like that nah they're quite but they have quite a diverse company themselves you see there they've got 2.39 billion dollar market cap and a one and a half percent dividend now i just think once the lockdown's over and things start getting back to normal they might be a pretty good one to watch i would want them to come down below the 100 mark now i mentioned these in passing a while ago but the fact is don't be worried by that them going up like that because they're still at a discount you know just think about the fact that they're still at a discount from 154 and we are coming out of lockdown Anyway, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It's important. 70% of you haven't. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.